free speech and the ideas of when your truth is not mine. I think we're about to see a whole lot of bashing and terrible things around the presidential election. And I'm not the only one to say this. That's not a unique thing to say. However, when your truth isn't mine and we both have the right to free speech, the First Amendment of the United States guarantees me the right to say what I want to say. It also guarantees you the right to say what you want to say. Where we run into problems is that we haven't agreed how we're going to disagree. We are going to disagree, no question. I'm not going to think the same thing you are going to think. And where we went into problems is when people think, oh, you're infringing on my rights. No, let me give you an example. I used to be a middle school, high school teacher. And I remember very specifically one day a kid was talking whenever he wanted to talk. And I just said, dude, you can't just like randomly talk all the time. He's like, you're infringing on my right to free speech. No, dude, there's 25 to 30 people in this class. You're infringing on all of their rights to learn. You're infringing on my ability as a teacher to help them learn because of your right to exercise. No, your rights stop where everyone else's start and where we have overlap. We have to agree how we're going to deal with that. That is the beauty of democracy. That is, it says, look, uh, I'm, I'm equal to you in these permissions we're all granted. Inaccurate reporting, just saying whatever you want to say because you want to say it. Okay, you have a right to do that, but so do I. And if you're saying it infringes or calls for an end to my ability to say what I want to say, by the very nature of the thing, you are not exercising First Amendment rights because First Amendment rights are granted to everyone. You can't say it's my right to free speech if you don't also respect someone else's right to free speech. That's how it works. That's the only way it works is we all agree that everyone has the right. So if in your free speech, in the moment of your free speech, you are calling for an end to someone else's right to free speech, that by its very nature is in violation of the First Amendment of the United States of America and the general principles of democracy, which say everyone has an equal seat at the table. Now, it hasn't always been that way, even under the Constitution, right? It's not perfect. We're still working to get it perfect. And all of us need to understand, I think, that we're working on it. We're working. It's still a system in progress. It just, it feels like in public discourse, in even some YouTube videos. Uh, there was a recent congressional hearing, right, where I think we just forget that someone's right to free speech, when impeded by someone else's right to free speech, that calls for a conversation, that calls for an open space of discussion. My right to do something, my right to say something, cannot infringe on your right to do something or say something. And when we don't agree, when we don't have space to meet, we have to take a step back. We have to say, how are we going to agree to disagree when my truth isn't yours? Honestly, I think we, we mostly do this well on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I think, you know, you'll, you'll be in traffic and uh, at a stop. And in a lot of cases, somebody will be like, no, you know, you go. No, no, you go. No, you go. By the way, one of my most annoying things at the stop is like, no, no, you go. Everybody's trying to be polite. I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but I have experienced this where it's like, no, no, you go. No, no, you go. It's driving me crazy. Right. But that's the, we're trying to figure out how we're going to, who, whose right was it to go first? We both get to the same time. Whose right was it to go first? We're agreeing how we're going to proceed forward in the situation. I think mostly we do a pretty decent job with each other on a day-to-day -day basis of this. I think where this has been forgotten or where this has really struggled recently is in public discourse. Where we're going to disagree, we have to agree what we're going to do when my truth isn't yours. And the most important thing we can do in that situation is remember my rights stop where her rights start. My rights stop where his rights start. And where those things overlap, we have to agree how we're going to deal with that situation if we both believe in the values of the First Amendment, the right to free speech. If you believe your right to free speech 
supersedes someone else's right to free speech, or in your free speech, you call for an end to someone else's right to free speech, you're not practicing free speech, you're practicing something else.